Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. And today we have a, a really a rare bottle here on my cask. It's a Lafroig original bottling, vintage 1991, 23 years old, bottled in 2014 with a cask strength of 52.6 ABV. This bottle is, well, the first of a series of individual casts, not individual batches, uh, small or limited batches of Lafroig, and this one has a limitation of 5,000 bottles, and I'm sorry, it's only available in Europe on the continent. Um, on the tube, uh, it's different. It's not white like the typical Lafroig, and I tasted already a few Lafroig. I put the videos here. Um, this is dark black, existentially black, with a copper tone, like the copper stills, pot stills of Lafroig. And here on the label it says 1991, vintage, 23 years old, blah, blah, blah. Um, our master distiller, John Campbell, has specially selected our best refill and ex sherry hogsheads. Hmm? Hogsheads, not sherry casks. Sherry casks cask would have meant 500 liters. Hogsheads only mean 250 liters. So smaller cask, faster maturation. And uh, ex sherry means first fill in this case, and refill means they were used already. Uh, for maturation and now we use the second time a refill uh, to bring together this unique expression of Lafroig. So this is an untypical sherry cask maturation. Typically you put your whiskey into a fresh sherry cask with 500 liters from Jerez, Spain and then you get this dark brown color from the sherry. And this one is not that dark because it's refill and uh, it's hogsheads and not butts. The hogshead matured whiskey has a very dry finish with the ex sherry cask. It's an awful letters here and the printing is not very exact. Uh, with the ex sherry cask yielding complex flavors of spice, nuttiness, honey, sweetness and dried fruits. This long maturation process has also greatly tamed, but not lost, our signature peat smoke flavor. That's what we're looking for. And uh, in the tube was this small leaflet, and uh, I'm afraid I haven't found uh, an individual number on the bottle, but the number is here on this leaflet. It's 1,505 out of 5,000. And in here, a few words from the distillery manager and tasting notes here, which are also there on the back of the tube. <clears throat> and, not to open, I got a sample from the distributor and uh, Lefroy is owned by Jim Beam. It was bought in 2008, I think. Uh, by Jim Beam, and uh, Jim Beam was bought by the Japanese, by Suntory. So this is, in the end, it's Japanese whiskey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very smoky, yes. But it's not this really this medicinal smoke, which is very typical for a Freud, but it's more mature. So these unoxidized compounds, smoke compounds, will mature over the time in the cask and mature to, well, more oxidized aromas, which show a more, yes, dry smoke character. And there's some, some cloves in here, some spiciness, nutmeg, but with the caramel and toffee, I'm not quite sure. There's some sweetness, yes. I can't decide if it's a fruitiness from the sherry cask or the sweetness of the caramel. No, the, the, the smoke is too strong still. 
Uh, and this is the specialty about this bottle. It's one of the oldest available strong peated whiskey. So the Beaumont, which sell or still the 25 year old, they are less in their fennel uh, content of the barley. Like a there are some very old ones, but they are counted in a hand the bottles which will reach uh, your dealer, if at all. Uh, and at Outback, they do not have uh, old whiskey any longer. So this one is available really in thousands of bottles worldwide and they, not worldwide, on the continent in Europe. And I think these special bottlings will be available in the future also uh, in the rest of the world. And uh, they asking for a lot of money. It's 280 euros in Germany. It's an awful lot of money. But if you want to have a, a special whiskey, this old one, a peated one, you have to pay for it. The Lagavulin 31 year old is about 700, no, 2000, few hundred euros. And Artbeck is gone. No chance for it. So very mature painted whiskey are rare, very rare. Full, intense, spicy, but not sharp. The distillery character of Lafroyque is not sharp. Mm. Peppery. There's a pepper in the end of the aftertaste. Well, some dried fruits. Yes, the sherry is there. It's not that dry as I imagined, imagined from the telling on the paper. No. And, and some saltiness. Where's the salt? It's a remembrance of salt. Full, spicy, together with the peat smoke. It's a completely different aroma. You, you very seldom have such a combination of the, the peatiness and the old casks. This is the specialty of this bottle. It's said there will be more bottlings like this one in the upcoming future. Let's wait and see. Until then, stay tuned. There's more to come. Feel free to share this video with your friends.